Here is Donu's corner again. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to run the up on our menu today. There is Joseph Kikon Agbeko. The former world champion is fighting again this Saturday under the Roy Jones Jr. promotions banner for the first time. We will hear from Roy Jones Jr. There is also Richie Oblite Komi. Remember we told you last week he was fighting for the first time in the US last Friday. We will tell you what happened before we conclude with another Ghanaian, Alfred Tete, who also fought in the US for the first time over the weekend. There was a stoppage in his fight. How did it go? Let's wait. Joseph Kikon Agbeko, the former two-time IBM Bantamweight World Champion, is fighting again this Saturday. He will be in the ring against Juanito Rubila, a Filipino boxer who has over 60 fights in his career. Agbeko will be fighting for the first time under the Roy Jones Jr. Promotions banner. Remember, King Kong signed a three-year deal with Roy Jones Jr. Promotions at the end of last year. That guarantees him three fights every year all in a bid to reclaim the world title again. Ghanaian journalist Jerry Kwame Ayensu, who is now based in the U.S., caught up with Agbeko and Roy Jones Jr. for us. I don't like to be a follower, I like to be a leader. I feel like God pays me here to be a leader. So when you see people like Joseph Azbeko, who people have taken advantage of over his career, I just want to give him a fair chance. I want to give him the opportunity to go as far as they can go and do it in a right way with people who care about him and people who are not trying to take everything they get. He's given me much reason to be highly excited because he's such a good fighter. He has a very good track record. Um, he's a very good person, first of all, and that's what gives me. Richard Oblite Komi, the boxer mini Ghanaian steps to become a world champion soon, announced himself to America in a very big way last weekend. Komi fought a tough customer from Uzbekistan called Bahodie Mamajonov, a boxer who has been based in the US for all of his professional career. It was a tough fight for Komi. But the warrior from Bukom, the man they call the Azun Tokin, the boxer who has fought in Denmark, has fought in the UK, has fought in South Africa, Ghana, and now shown that he can go to the US and be a winner. Managed around 8 TKO victory when he was dominating Mama Jonov in round 8 and the referee couldn't take it anymore and stopped the fight. But the first six rounds wasn't easy for Komi. Many at ringside had given most of those rounds to Mama Jonov. But in round 7, Komi showed the true warrior in him and flooded his opponent. Mama Jono managed to beat the count by round 8. He couldn't handle the tough action, jabs, uppercuts, whatever from Komi. Komi won on Friday night, but by Sunday morning, he was already in Accra, determined to come and rest a bit and begin the next phase of his chase of World Championship. At the airport, his fans were there in their numbers to meet him. After meeting them with authorities of Ghana Boxing, you know where Komi went straight? to church to go and thank God. We say congratulations, Richard Oblite Komi. Keep it up and keep fighting. Now you are IBF number seven in the world. The world title is ever closer. Just keep working hard and we know you'll do it for Mother Ghana. Before we go, we take a look at the highlights of the fight of Alfred Tete. He's another Ghanaian boxer who fought for the first time in the US also over the weekend. Tete is a former WBO Africa World Tower Champion and he is also chasing a world title. He took on Abraham Lopez of California on Friday night. It wasn't easy for Tete. Watch the highlights. Tonight, Jay and Dan will have everything on Fox Sports Live. Lopez is scoring very well now. Whenever he goes back to that jab, he lines everything up for the straight right from the outside. Body Ooh. shot from Lopez drops Tete. He's been working the body, working the body, and he landed on the left. And I don't know if Tete's getting up, and he's not. Abe Lopez with the KO. Once again, Donu's corner is over. Remember, for more boxing news, log on to our website, allsports.com.ga, or subscribe to our YouTube channel. If it's boxing news, Donu's corner always got you covered. <laughs>